after hearing the news that Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence, the rematch, is very unlikely to happen next, I think it's pretty fair for us to say that Errol Spence is pretty much finished. And I apologize, I kind of lost my voice a little bit a couple hours ago, but we're good for the most part. So it seems that the rematch is not happening. And in the title of the video, it says Errol Spence is finished. And yes, in a way he is. I'm not saying his career is over. I'm not saying it's time for him to retire. I'm not saying he doesn't offer much left in the sport. I do believe that Errol Spence does have a lot left to offer for the fans in the sport. But I do feel he is finished when it comes to him competing to be the absolute best fighter he can be. At this point, the main legacy fight of his career, which was against Terrence Crawford, he ended up getting dominated in. He got absolutely battered and stopped in. And I feel when you look at Errol Spence's career, there isn't too much left from the offer when it comes to him competing at the top world level. And I'm not saying him fighting other possible champions. When it comes to him fighting the cream of the crop, which is Terrence Crawford, his career is basically done. When you look at the eye injury, which is now being used as an excuse for that Crawford bout. When you look at the eye injury, which definitely did not get better after fighting Terrence Crawford, definitely didn't benefit him taking on Terrence Crawford when it came to how his eye would recover. When you look at his eye injury, when you look at the previous motorcycle accident, when you look at his age, when you look at the mental defeat of getting dominated against the main fight of your career, the main fight everyone's wanted to see for years, the mental toll that that should take on a fighter like Errol Spence, as well as the physical toll that that Terrence Crawford fight put on him. I cannot see Errol Spence offering much left for the sport. And I think at this point, it wouldn't be the worst idea for him to even maybe have one or two more fights and then call it a day. I feel Errol Spence truly is finished when it comes to legacy-defining matchups. I feel that he's given us everything he's had at this point. He fought the main guy everyone wanted to see him fight. He got dominated. There isn't anything left for him to really do. Now, obviously, I'm not fully correct in that statement. He could fight John Boutenis at 147. He could move up to 154 and take on a champion like Tim Zhu. There are technically still options for him, but I feel overall, as simply put, Errol Spence is pretty much done at this point, guys. He blamed the eye for his loss. Not full on. It's not in the sense that he completely said, I only lost because of my eye. But he used his eye as an excuse. And if your eye was bothering you prior to the Terrence Crawford fight, how bad is your eye going to affect you? Post the Terrence Crawford fight, you took a lot of damage, a lot of punishment, a lot of damage and punishment to that eye directly as well. At this point, Errol Spence's career, I could very well see it turning into another Deontay Wilder type of situation, especially because he lost very similarly to the way that Deontay Wilder lost in the second fight against Tyson Fury. You could see him bouncing back, maybe getting a nice victory, and then facing a guy that has never really been considered on his level, and and he may end up losing. You know, he could end up fighting like an Amentis Stanionis and getting outworked because he just doesn't have that fire in him anymore. I don't think it would be the worst decision for Errol Spence to just call it quits or have one or two more fights ca to cash out and end his career on a little bit of a high note instead of ending your career on the stoppage loss to Terrence Crawford. But overall, when you look at the Crawford rematch, it's basically been confirmed that it's not going to happen next. It was... If it was going to happen, it was supposed to happen this year, or last year, I apologize, in 2023. It was supposed to happen then. It didn't happen in 2023. Crawford has no desire to make that rematch. He does not want to see it happen. And Errol Spence doesn't seem like he's going to be able to even get a Crawford rematch in the first place. If you're not going to have the opportunity to avenge that loss against Crawford, that very dominant loss and the truest legacy fight of your career, if you're not going to be able to do that, then what really is there for you to do? You can beat Tim Zhu. Hypothetically, you beat Tim Zhu, you beat Boots Ennis at 47, move up, beat, beat Tim Zhu, beat whoever else is at 154, that's an option for you. Virgil, say hypothetically he does go on a crazy run to end his career. If you don't avenge that Crawford loss, does it, it? it's still great, still impressive that he did that, but it'll never fully mean as much as Spence and his fans would want it to if he can't avenge that Crawford loss. So overall, I think it'll Spence, especially because I don't think he's as good of a fighter anymore due to that Crawford bout, he should definitely consider calling it a day. I know that sounds crazy. It sounds unfortunate because he is a talented fighter, but he took a, a real beat down against Terrence Crawford. He's talking about previous injuries affecting him. He likely won't be able to avenge that Terrence Crawford defeat. So overall, the main goal of his career, which is to defeat Terrence Crawford for years now, seems like an unattainable goal. It's going to be very hard for Errol Spence to keep pushing through and and really build something out of his career after this Terrence Crawford fight. I mean, if he does do that, I will give him a lot of credit. I'm not going to be one of these people that will hate on Spence for pursuing his goals and, and trying to make something big of his career. But I think logically, when you look at the punishment he's taken in his career, the fact that he's getting older, I mean, maybe there's a slim chance 
that the weight cut affected him a lot. And if he moves up to 154, maybe he would be able to take out these guys comfortably due to the fact that he'll be much more hydrated. But I feel that's honestly a real shot in the dark. It's almost a Hail Mary type of attempt to revive his career at this point. Errol Spence should look into finishing his career very soon because he took a lot of damage in that fight against Terrence Crawford. His eye must not be doing too well if he's using that as an excuse for the Crawford defeat. I don't want to see Errol Spence turn into a Deontay Wilder where he takes on someone like an Ementus Danionis or someone that we know Spence should be able to, to defeat, similarly to Deontay Wilder and Joseph Parker. We don't want to see him take on one of those guys and end up getting schooled to a decision due to the fact that he really just isn't that guy anymore, mentally or physically. Because I feel mentally, Errol Spence is a very tough guy mentally, but he's a guy that does not want to be second place. If he stays at 147 and beats Boots and Virgil, he's still going to be the number two guy in the weight class. If he can't get that Crawford rematch, there's nothing really for him in the sport, unfortunately. Obviously, as I said, the Tim Zhu, the Boots Ennis fight, I'm not saying those are bad fights for him, but they're not going to mean too much if he wins those fights if the Crawford defeat is never avenged. Errol Spence needs to make a decision soon, though. Hopefully, for Spence's sake, he could get that Crawford rematch. I'm very confident he would lose the rematch just like he lost the first fight. I'm not sure if it would be more dominant or closer. It'd probably be a little closer than the first fight, but I still see the result being the same as it was the first time around. Hopefully, for his sake, he at least gets the opportunity to avenge that loss, and he will get another big payday out of it because I don't see anyone else Spence could possibly fight giving him the type of payday that a Terrence Crawford rematch would. So hopefully for Spence's sake, that fight can happen. But as I said previously, if he cannot get that Terrence Crawford rematch, I really don't see a purpose for him to continue his career going. Yes, maybe financially it will benefit him to some extent. Not saying that he didn't make a lot in that Terrence Crawford bout and that he didn't make a lot before his career possibly ended. I mean, he did make a lot of money for sure. He had some nice paydays. But if we're being honest and objective here, if he doesn't get that Crawford rematch, there isn't too much for Spence to really prove at this point. He's not going to be able to... I mean, as I said, if he beats a Tim Zhu, a Jerron Ennis, those aren't bad wins at all. They're great wins for him to have. But if I'm looking at it objectively, first of all, I don't even think he... I'm not even sure he beat those guys after this Crawford fight because he took a lot of punishment, guys. He's slowing down. He's older. He's 33 or so, which isn't too old. But after that type of fight, that Crawford fight would very likely take some years out of his career because he took a lot of punishment in that bout. His eye is clearly affecting him. If he stays at 147, he's going to be very weight-drained. So if he does continue his career, he would have to try to make a run at 54, which would be very difficult. He could definitely make some noise before his career ends, but I think overall when it comes to him beating Terrence Crawford, when it comes to him truly being the winner of that saga, it's over for him. There's not much of a shot. Terrence Crawford has defeated Errol Spence in this in this rivalry. Terrence Crawford has gotten the better of it, and if Spence can't get that rematch, it wouldn't be a bad idea for him to call it a day. But... Errol Spence has had a very solid career. Shout out to Errol Spence. I appreciate what he's done for the sport. He's taken on some really good fighters in his career. He was a three-belt champion, a unified champion. He was one of the few fighters in the sport that's actually attempted to go undisputed. He's given the fans some great fights, and if he does call it a day, which I haven't heard any rumors of, and he is still a relatively young guy, but if he does call it a day or if there isn't much left in his career, we do appreciate what he's done for us. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. God bless. I'll see you guys later. Peace.